Did you know that there are over 50 print-on-demand companies out there? Where have I been? Like, what is going on there? It's just, it's mad. I remember when there used to be about five companies right back in the day. Anyway, I previously made a video where I told you about the top 30 print-on-demand companies and I got so many comments telling me I missed out, you know, this company and that company. So I've decided to make a part two of the top print-on-demand companies that are out there. But before we get started, before we crack on with the video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You know it means a lot. And as well as that, let's see if we can get more likes on this video than we did on part one, which is gonna be hard because part one had over, or has over 4,000 likes. So that's a challenge that I'm putting to you. Now, before I get started, let me just tell you what I'm comparing. I'm comparing the shipping, I'm comparing the hosting, I'm comparing the base cost for a t-shirt. I'm telling you if it has free marketing or not. And well, I was gonna do ease of use out of 10, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna scratch that because it's just, it, it's completely opinionated. Let me start by listing out all the companies for you. And I don't know all these companies off by heart. I've written them down here. So we've got T-Chip, Teasley, Viral Style, Motif, T-Mill, Society6, Shirtly, Print Tech, Art Pal, Art Major, Art Finder, Shirty, Spoonflower, Bonfire Pod Company, and Custom Cat. By the way, I don't know all this information off by heart. I've written it down so that I could accurately give it to you rather than, you know, memorize it. But I've got all of it over here in front of me. So let's start. T-Chip. T-Chip's base price for a t-shirt is £4.58 or around six dollars that's really really good especially compared to most companies out there do they host yes it seems like they host based on some research on their website shipping is five dollars 99 and for each additional item one dollar 99 i just don't understand why print on demand companies do this why on earth do they charge you extra for more items surely the more items you add the shipping should you know, get cheaper, it should bulk together. I completely understand, you know, shipping costing $5 and if you have 20 items, it can't still be $5 because it's gonna cost a lot more to ship 20 items. But for it to cost an extra $2 every single time you add an item, that's not really, you know, convincing me to add more items to my basket, whatever. Anyways, do T-Chip do free marketing? Yes, it seems like they do free marketing in the sense that you can actually go to their website. It's a marketplace where you can buy, or someone can buy your product. Right, the next one is Teasley. Teasley's base price is $6.34, around £4.84, so just a bit more than T-Chip. But still, this is really, this is on the low end. I remember in part one of this video, they were like $12, $13, so this is this is a serious improvement. Hosting, yes, they will host your t-shirts for you. Shipping is, I could only find a UK price, but it was £6.99, and again, what the hell is going on here? Why are companies charging £6.99 to ship a t-shirt? This thing weighs nothing. There is zero reason it should cost £6.99. Free marketing, again, I've written yes because, you know, it's a marketplace. Someone can go and buy your item. However, I don't know if they actively go and promote individual t-shirts. The next one is Viral Style. Base price is £4.30, which is the cheapest of the pack so far. Uh, in dollars, it's $5.64. Hosting, yes, it seems like they will host your t-shirt. The shipping to the UK is £6.23. Again, whoosh. Why on earth is it £6.23? No one knows. And then free marketing, it seems like they do free marketing in the sense that, again, they have a shop, well, a storefront, their website, you can go and actually buy it from their website. The next one is Motif. Motif, it sounds French. The base price is £4.36 or $5.72. Hosting, no, 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 no. You will need a platform like Shopify, WooCommerce, Etsy, that kind of thing. Shipping is $5.99 with an additional $1.99 per item. And free marketing, there is no free marketing here. So that is Motif. And I can just, I just have to say, all these prices for the base price of t-shirts are very, very low. This is, this is interesting because part one, the average was about $9 to $12. So this is really interesting. Right, the next is T-Mill, T-Mill. 
I don't know how to say that. Whatever, T-Mill. The base price well, I've written here, really, really, really expensive. And that's because I couldn't seem to find it. In fact, the only thing I could find was that it was 18 pounds. Now I'm sure that is wrong. And I'm just waiting for someone to leave a comment down below, someone who uses T-Mill to tell me that was wrong and the actual base price. But from what I could see is the base price was really, really expensive. And it was so expensive, I didn't even want to put it in the video. Hosting, it seems like they will host your t-shirt for you. Shipping, $5.99 with an additional $1.99 per item added. And then free marketing, nope, there is just no free marketing. Society 6. This was an interesting one because it base price is, well, I can't really tell you base price. It's, it's confusing. I've written here, it's confusing because it's confusing. But basically you get 10% of the retail price. So the money you get is 10%. So in terms of base price, it doesn't really matter because you get 10%. But again, it's still a confusing one. Hosting, yes, it seems like they do hosting, but I wasn't 100% sure that website was a bit iffy. Shipping, it seems like it's USA dollars, five dollars uh, to the USA. And then free marketing, again, it seems like it, but this whole website was a bit iffy. So if you have used Society6, then let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are, maybe a bit more information on it, because I couldn't find that much information on it. The next one is Shirtly. Base price is four pounds. It's the lowest one we've seen today with five or four pounds or $5.25. Now, this is interesting because at the bottom of the site, when I scroll down to actually do a bit more digging, the base price was a lot more expensive, like $14. So I'm not quite sure why it says $5.25 and then 14 at the bottom. That's something, you know, maybe you'd have to work out. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. Anyways, hosting, it doesn't look like they host. You'd have to connect it to Shopify, WooCommerce, something like that. Shipping is $4, which again is the lowest we've seen so far in this video. And then the free marketing, it doesn't look like they do any free marketing. So you'll have to do Instagram, Facebook, you know, Pinterest, Twitter, the whole nine yards. Next one is print tech. This took me ages to actually find, but base price, it looks like it's £6.48 and dollars $8.50. They don't do any hosting. You're gonna have to connect to another website, you know, Shopify, whatever. Shipping, I couldn't find any info on shipping. It, it, it just, it seemed like a terrible platform. I don't recommend it based on, you know, me trying to find information on it was so flipping difficult. I just wouldn't recommend it. And free marketing, no, it doesn't look like they do any free marketing. The next one is Art Pal. Now, all of these websites, I have to stress, were based on people commenting on the first video saying, you missed this one out, you missed this one out, you missed this one out, come on. So this is why I'm making a part two. So this next one, Art Pal, was another one of the comments, but I don't know why someone left this comment because it's not really print on demand, it's just about art pieces, so I'm not gonna go into it. The next one, Art Major, you guessed it, it's also about art it's totally unrelated to print on demand so i'm not even gonna bother going to it and finally the last useless comment on that previous video was art finder again nothing to do with print on demand and i don't know why i was recommended the last three sites but that's that look if you do have other sites that i've missed out in this video then let me know in the comments down below but please make sure they are actually print on demand sites and not just random art sites because that is useless to us Anyways, now that we've done with Art Pal, Art Major, and Art Finder, let's move back to print on demand sites. We have a platform called Shirty, spelt S H I R T E E. Very interesting. Anyways, base price is eight pounds, or sorry, eight euros 49. This is a German company, it seems like. Hosting, it seems like they do hosting. Um, it seems like you can make your own little Shopify website. So it's kind of cool, but I wasn't entirely sure. Shipping, international shipping is £5.25, which is actually quite low considering, you know, shipping on other companies is about that much and it's not even international. Free marketing, it seems like they do a bit of free marketing, but I'm not entirely sure. So I don't want you to count on the free marketing because I don't actually think they do it. The next one is Spoon Flower. I have no idea where people come up with these names. What the hell is Spoon Flower? Whatever. Anyway, this is a really odd site. It didn't seem like it was any print on demand stuff. It Well, it was print on demand stuff, but it didn't seem like it was t-shirt stuff. It's, it, it was more of the home decor, decor uh, niche. So it had like pillows and throws and bedding and plates and cutlery and stuff like that. It didn't seem like it was print on demand, like in terms of t-shirts and, and, and iPhone cases and stickers and, and, and jumpers and hoodies and tote bags. So I kind of left it out as well because I didn't think it was relevant. 
The next one is Bonfire Pod Company. This sounds like that song, you know, the Bonfire song. Whatever, anyway, getting distracted here. The base price for a t-shirt is $12.89. So back up to ridiculous prices over here. Hosting, I think, but as I've written here, it was hella confusing. That was hella confusing. I just did, like, my goodness me, I had no idea what was going on with this site. Shipping, it seemed like it was USA dollars, $9. I don't know why I keep saying USA dollars. $9.99, which is just astronomical for a t-shirt. No. No, 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 no. No. $9.99 shipping for a t-shirt. Don't ever buy from anyone that is charging you this much. Free marketing, it does not seem like they do free marketing either. And now let's move on to our final website that I will be comparing in this video, which is Custom Cat, which has a base price of £5.34, which is a $7 equivalent, which is quite quite reasonable. They don't do any hosting, so that's a big no-no. You'll have to use Shopify, Etsy, WooCommerce, WordPress, whatever it is. Shipping, it seemed like it was USA $3.99, which is the lowest on this video, with an additional $1.50 you know, per additional item. And it doesn't look like they do free marketing because obviously it's on your own website. So actually that is a very, very good amount. You know, $7 and $3.99 shipping, not bad. Now, I'm sure once again, I have missed out a few companies. This, this, this is based on research that I did. And if I missed out companies, I'm very sorry. Let me know in the comments if there are other companies that you've heard of or that you use that are print on demand companies and not art companies or home decor companies. And I will happily make a part three for you. Now, if you're wondering, oh my gosh, there are so many sites to go into. What site do I go into? Well, let me put it this way. I still recommend Merch by Amazon and Redbubble and I've heard good things about T-Chip. If I have to recommend one from this video, it will probably be viral style. Um, or teach it. Okay, those are the two I recommend from this video. But as an overall, based on the first and second video, I still recommend Redbubble and Merch by Amazon. And I know in the first video I said I recommend Teespring, but if you've watched my previous video, you will see why I don't recommend Teespring. I just no, it, I had a very bad experience. And based on the comments, it seems like a lot of you had very bad experiences as well. So I don't recommend that anymore. Anyways, so this is kind of scary because there are so many platforms out there. Even the platforms are oversaturated, right? Platforms against platforms, they're oversaturated. So even more so, you know, person A selling on a platform versus person B, it's gonna be, just the amount of sellers is gonna be even harder, even more saturated. So is it worth it to go into? And I'm standing by my guns where I say, look, print on demand is great. And if you're very passionate about it, then continue to go into it or continue to do it. But I am still an advocate for Amazon FBA for starting a YouTube channel, for affiliate marketing, those kind of businesses. I feel like there is a lot more room for you and it's a lot easier to get into. But like I said, if you are into print on demand, then 100% go for it. I just wanna end by saying thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked all these companies. I hope you found this, you know, good. And again, if you haven't seen part one, go check that out. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.